let's see now what will be the half life period for zero order reaction for zero order reaction rate constant is given by k equal to r naught minus r by time you know that you have derived it in integration equation k equal to r naught minus r by time see here we are going to find half life period for zero order reaction so take this t this side and k this side so t equal to r naught minus r by k now at t equal to t half that is at half life period concentration of the reactant will be half of initial concentration that is r naught by 2 you know that at half life period concentration of reactant will be r naught by 2 now substitute these values in this equation in this equation substitute t t equal to t half and keep this r naught as it is and concentration of r as r naught by 2 r as r naught by 2 keep this k as it is now r naught minus r naught by 2 is r naught by 2 because 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 r naught minus r naught by 2 is r naught by 2 divided by k so what you get t of equal to r naught by 2k see in the in this equation what do you see t half is directly proportional to initial concentration of the reactant see this reaction this equation t half is directly proportional to initial concentration of the reactant and inversely proportional to rate constant of the reaction so what for zero order reaction t half is directly proportional to initial concentration of the reactant and inversely proportional to rate constant please remember this equation that is t half equal to r naught by 2k it is required while solving the problem okay thank you in the next video you will see half life period for first order reaction thank you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like the video share the video and spread worldwide to help others